It's the worst. The worst time. It's the worst time. Yeah. It's on the clock. So it's the worst time. That wasn't for me. When your parents get divorced, you're a little bubble of I'm a little kid. Like I'm in this little happy world. Like it gets popped. When you grow up fast, you realize that not everything is rainbows and butterflies. And I think that's the hardest thing. But but like a lot of that period, I don't remember. Cause I think like one time I read like you can delete memories from your head, and so like. And so I read that and I was like, okay, I want to do this. And so like a lot of times when I think about the divorce, I just don't like, I don't remember a lot about how I felt or like what was going on. So I guess with friends, it's not like I was, I felt weird. It was kind of like, in a sense, jealousy. Whenever I go to a family's house, they're like, it's like that perfect family. Or I wish I could have grown up with that. Like, what's it like to be like that? It's just weird um, when I go stay at a friend's house for a few days or summer, like I go visit. And they have like two parents in the house and they're like, they're actually functioning and like talk to each other, you know, and like enjoy being around each other. It's just a very weird like experience for me because I've never like, like in my recent memory, like I've never had like that function in the household before, so. How has the divorce impacted the way that you see love or relationships or like significant others? I don't know, I've just had so much divorce like around me, you know, that it's just like anytime I would be in a relationship or even think about it, I'm like, oh, it's just gonna end. Like, what's, even, what's like the point of even like trying, you know, because like some shit's gonna happen after that. I didn't realize how much it had impacted like my view of love and like relationships. I think that love runs out and I'm very pessimistic about it. I'm usually not pessimistic. Did you ever feel like you had like signs? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, um, it wasn't like I was forced to pick sides, it was just like, wow, my dad was like a really shitty person, you know, and like did some awful stuff, so I mean, it wasn't like picking sides, it was just like, wow, this has been going on like my entire life. Like when you go to one side or the other and they talk basically shit about your other parent, that's kind of how they pit you against each other. I think the hardest thing was like if they'd say something about the other parent and you were like that, then it'd make you think like, well wait, do you not love me because I'm like that? Or wait, that's why you stopped loving them, so like are you gonna stop loving me, I guess? Do you hold like any grudges against them like before the breakup or like I used to. I used to be so mad. I was extremely mad, um I think it was extremely mad at my dad because my mom said that she was like, you have to tell like our kids, you know, because this is what happened. You have to go tell them what's happening between us and like what's going to have a future. If you could tell yourself one thing, what would it be? It'll be okay. Yeah, I think that's the one thing. I know it's so like cliche, but like just so average, but it's just like, it'll be fine. Like, you're alive, so just keep on trucking. That you love your parents and that you shouldn't 